you're getting a lot of clunking in your suspension for any kind of Outlander Sport, possibly Outlander, uh, maybe even a Lancer because they share a lot. Uh, what I've noticed is that it's kind of hard to see because of the video, but there is a bit of a gap in that bushing for the sway bar. So if you're looking, what you'll notice is that there's some play in that. I'm not sure if I can get this to reproduce here. See how it wiggles a little bit? This car only has 35,000 miles on it, so. Um, I pulled the other side already, changed that out, and uh, I haven't really had a chance to do much with it, but uh, I did find a replacement, or at least one that measures up. So this is from Energy Suspension. I did all the measurements online and everything else. Part number is 9.5158R. It's a polyurethane bushing. Obviously it's greasable, which is nice. It's got a little inner channel. Um, the big thing is making sure that you grease them appropriately because poly likes to squeak a lot. So having a uh, ample amount of super grease is definitely suggested. Uh, there's only two bolts here. There's one here and one here. Those are both 12 millimeter. Undo those. This thing, the top will pop right off with a screwdriver. Slide that bushing out. You'll grease up this new bushing. Slip it on there, tighten it all down. And the end product should look like that. So what that gives you is obviously a much beefier setup as well as a greasable fitting on the top. So let me show you real quick. These are the two units. Obviously this one is built to have some kind of adjustability but I've already taken the time to measure it and uh, this lines up quite fine. This does have a hole on top, so I wonder if the original intention was to add a grease fitting on there, why they decided to do that. Um, both of these width-wise are fairly similar, and even the hole placement, once everything is cinched down, pretty much in the, in the same spot. Obviously the track, or the size of the bracket is much bigger on this unit, but there is plenty of space to get access to it. Uh, once you get all of this put together, get this greased up, what I did was I just took a pry bar, placed it on here, and then just kind of pushed up a little bit, and that'll let me, once I got my bushing in place, uh, rotate it into place where I needed to, and then mount it. Something to note when you do this is that uh, both wheels need to be off the ground in order to do this. Sway bar is meant to kind of uh, help with the suspension flex between the two sides. And uh, with one side being down uh, and the other side being up, this sway bar is going to have a pretty decent amount of tension on it because that's kind of what it's supposed to do. Uh, so you're going to have to go through and get both the car or wheels jacked up before you attempt to do anything. That way you can actually be able to manipulate this bar and getting this old bushing out of there and getting the new one installed. While you're in here, I highly recommend, I mean you can see some of it on here already, uh, white lithium grease, spray down all your bushings. Um, it helps kind of prevent them from drying out, so that's kind of what this stuff is that's on here. I tend to uh, spray these down, you know, every couple months, that kind of thing, uh, just to kind of help preserve the bushings, so um, hopefully they don't crack as much or as often as uh, suspension components go through quite a beating. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, you just add and replace and make sure you use plenty of grease inside outside all that other good stuff that way it didn't squeak and then you should be pretty much good to go so as i mentioned before this bar is 22 millimeters um as well as this bushing talks about it there's a size chart in the back this is 7 8 22 millimeter uh, so this one's pretty much the one to go to so again that's 9.5158 r the whole reason why you would do this is because you start hearing some metal metal and metal clunking 
or just some clunking in general. Uh, I'm assuming that there's been some, there was some shifting and whatnot that's been going on in here, which is causing this to move around a little bit. I'm not sure if it's been impacting anything or not. I haven't had a really chance to look at it. I just know that uh, we just did this for a buddy's car. Uh, exact same thing, exact same problem. And so I decided to take my art, bring mine up, take a look at it, inspected all the bushings. Those were all good to go. All the ball joints were all good to go. And that's when I noticed there's a tiny little gap. It's kind of hard to see in the video. Um, you might have to take a look at yours and you can kind of tell, but uh, hopefully that helps. And the good part is that uh, this thing is readily available at pretty much most auto parts store. Uh, and on top of that, uh, I want to say it was like 20 bucks total. Uh, so that's a, a nice little, uh, I guess, uh, up, uh, upgrade or trade off uh, considering it's a polyurethane setup and it's only 20 bucks. So, all right, that's it.